from Berlin. Look at this, oh my word, this room is incredible. These windows, like this whole room is bigger than our home. It's really quite something. Um, I'm here with Kiehl's. Um, I'm actually only here for two nights, uh, but we're doing a little trip to the farm to see where they source some of their ingredients. And we're also just hanging out in Berlin and like taking in some of the chill vibes. I cannot wait, we've got such a cool, group of girls i've never met any of them before but we all met obviously like at the airport before we came and yeah they're such a good group of like badass women so i'm so excited to hang out with them for a couple of days and um yeah sleep in that bed hello so i'm taking you along for the ride i'm here for two nights and then i go on to florence for three nights um on another trip so yeah just thought like bumper trip travel vlog still cannot get over these windows, they are blowing my mind. Kiehl's have kitted a girl out as well. Um, some of my faves, creme de corps, what a classic. I think I actually have that in my suitcase. I'm very, very excited about this though. The Avocado Nourishing Hydration Mask. Um, I've seen it on their Instagram. I didn't realize it was out, but I think it is. And also this one, this is one of their latest launches and I think this is what we're gonna go see the origins of tomorrow. We're gonna to go check out some of the ingredients from that. Chocolates, are they chocolates? Let me have a sniff. <gasps> Hello, oh, I'm in heaven. Yeah, this bed looks like a cloud. I'm, I'm very happy right now. I've got half an hour to freshen up, which I'm definitely gonna do because I woke up at half four this morning and I think it's now lunchtime. Ooh, feel grim. <laughs> and then we're heading out for some lunch. I think it's at a place called Inn Farm. Anywhere that we go, I'll like put the little destination down in the corner for you. And then I think we're gonna have like a guided tour. in sauerkraut and what was the other thing oh the potato salad oh oh it was very nice um today we are off to a farm i think it's about four hours away and i think we were kind of split on the journey we're doing half on train half on a bus and um, so i've got my book with me for the train and then i can't like read on a bus so i've got this podcast downloaded lots of youtube videos downloaded so i'll be kept busy so i just uh, don't mind me just doing my trousers up but going to the farm where they source the cbd for the cannabis is it sativa 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 a bit of clarification on that today um cannabis sativa seed oil herbal concentrate where kills get their cbd from is uh, in germany there you go fun fact um it's due to rain a lot today so i emergency purchased a raincoat um an out of season catch wardrobe purchase i'll show you that in a bit it's really fun just gotta get my hoops in and then i'm uh, ready for the day hmm, done i am prepared i have my raincoat <laughs> it's like see-through tiger print um i got it from ganny i was very tempted by their raincoat last season which was like a slightly see-through leopard print obviously very up my street um, but the sleeves on it weren't long enough they were like three quarter length sleeves i mean i get that you know a raincoat it's nice to be like kind of chic with your raincoat but also it needs to be functional so that wasn't for me it wasn't about that three quarter length sleeve on a raincoat life uh, but this one is actually like a proper full sleeve it's got pockets it's quite like um, full length almost. It goes like below my knees. I've got my hood. Right.
drink a Pilates. Yes. It's great. It's great for Michelle Obama arms, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, Michelle Obama, <laughs> Jennifer Aniston arms. Yeah. Right, I've had a grand old time in Berlin with Hills, uh, but my time is over. And today I am now, uh, yeah, I'm off to Florence. I've been up, been up since about uh, 6 a.m. and I think we went to bed at one. Um, <laughs> I was a bit behind with blog post writing, so I like had to write blog posts this morning when I woke up. And actually, I'm quite impressed. I'm quite chuffed with my blog post today. Uh, so that has gone up, which is good. And now I am literally throwing everything in. I've got uh, approximately four minutes before I need to leave the room. Ah, I tanned. My vlog battery is charged. Um, I'm meeting my friend Mel there, which I'm so excited about. And uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. made it to Florence and I'm here with Nas for three nights, four days, and we're celebrating Nas turning 25. And I'm here with like my best friend Mel who I've known forever. And here is a photo of us 25 years ago. There you go. So when we were this old, Nas started, which is nuts. He started with 12 lipsticks. I think we're gonna like see that later on in the trip. And now there are 75 shades in total. I've got one on my lips today. Oh, yep, yeah, close up of the old spot as well. I think it's called Ni Niagara. I like it. It's nice. Um, so we're just here, like, drinking wine, eating good food, and just, like, celebrating. Brilliant. I'll show you what I'm wearing. Okay, so this is the outfit for tonight. I've got the Realization Par Iggy dress on, the huge, I love this dress, my Bifar sandals, the Alien Nina bag, and um, yeah, Mel is the one that I mention in my book all the time, who is tidier than me. Here you go, here's why. This is my side of the dressing room. Yes, there's a dressing room, we're literally staying in a palace. And then this is Mel's side. And then, sorry Mel, I'm going in your wardrobe. Look at that, look at that. There's a reason why we've been friends with these years. <laughs> she just went to just double check the spot because she didn't think it looked tidy enough. <laughs> starting the day with a walking tour of Florence and check out this view. I don't think I've ever been anywhere like this. It's so beautiful. We've got an amazing tour guide called Cindy and she's American. She came over here and married an Italian man called Ricardo and uh, yeah, they do walking tours and this is, yeah, this is absolutely unreal. So prepare yourself for a very, 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 very pretty montage. My shop. Look what it's for sale. It's the name. I can't help myself. the Dolce Vita Villa experience. Um, so I thought I should wear Dolce Vita. I'm not sure I've ever worn this color before. It's kind of a nude with a bit more purple in it. I've got it on now. Ooh, censored. I like it. Right, let's go see what this is all about. <laughs> Thank you. 
Mom, where's your, where's your hat? Well, this is the hat I like. Ooh! What I want to see is if this is going to take it to the next level. Oh, and hello, pink, 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 pink. yes, yes, <laughs> hat girl summer, right there. <laughs> Chocolony stand, it was really expensive. And although they sell it in the UK, they only sell a couple of flavours. Um, so I treated myself to a bag that has like every single flavour in. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna buy a bag for Mark, like as present, because he's not here. Um, but then I knew I would eat that bag, so I bought two. Um, and yeah, me and Mel have been eating the bag, and this morning we concluded a very important experiment, which was to try every single flavour and rank them. Riveting content, riveting. This is Mel's lineup. She's, is this the top? That's the top. Okay, so you're starting off with the dark sea salt, then you're doing the milk caramel sea salt, then milk. Oh, controversially high for milk, and then the toffee, was it dark milk pretzel toffee, then the hazelnut milk, then the milk nugget, nougat, and then dark at the bottom. Mm. What is your, like, are you normally a milk or a dark kind of gal? Used to really like milk, but more recently, I'm into the dark. Into the, yeah, dark, I'm, right, I'm shocked. Right, you ready for my bottom one? Yeah, go on. We'll go from the bottom. Okay. Dark. Oh, yeah. The same. Oh, okay, this, Okay, this is interesting. Next one. Yeah. <laughs> Are they all the same? The same? <laughs> is this the milk nougat? I think it's nice. It just wasn't... It wasn't all that. All that. Milk. Oh, it was creamy. It was nice. It was, it was creamy, but I, I don't know. I just think there's, like, more exciting. Okay. You're going to hate me because... Oh, that was the The dark best. almond sea salt, which Mel thought was number one. That one was. was my number four. And then the milk caramel sea salt. Oh. Okay, so we're, cl we're close. You're going to put the pretzel on top, I think. You know, because then I've got the milk hazelnut. Mm. And then the top, the like dark milk pretzel, whatever So basically, the these two, you've got. Yeah. Swapped. Swapped. We're quite similar though. Interesting. This hotel is so fancy that we've been hiding these wrappers whilst we've been conducting <laughs> this experiment because we knew they'd throw them in the bin. <laughs> but there you go, very, very important. And now we're gonna eat breakfast. So me and Mel were testing out chocolate this morning, um, but now we're gonna test out some more. Something big is going down, and we're just outside. Right. Okay. Okay. They, yeah. Go big or go home, eh? swing of things and we're editing the vlog and I realized that I hadn't actually finished the vlog so time for the outro section um, I was just writing out my thank yous and obviously a huge thank you to both of the kills and Nas teams for just incredible trips like what a week 
and obviously a huge thank you to you guys for like watching my videos, reading my blog posts, just supporting me in general without any of that happening. There is no way that I would have these opportunities. So thank you. I am so grateful, so appreciative. Always, always, always know that. Um, yeah, so this is what we were there to celebrate with Nas, obviously the 25th anniversary of the brand and like getting to meet Francois himself and his family were there, like his mum and dad was there. It was just an adorable moment. Like I couldn't think about it too much because I was getting like a little bit teary, like just thinking how, how like proud his parents must be. Like, yeah, just what a moment to witness and like celebrate. It was incredible. Uh, they've launched fragrance for the first time. This is the Audacious Fragrance. Um, it's a unisex fragrance. It's out on the 1st of September on nars.co.uk in Nars Boutiques and exclusive to Harrods. And it's basically like the Manoy candle in fragrance form. I mean, no, I'm a bit fussy with scent, but this is not heavy at all. It's like a subtle, sexy, like more of a summer vibe. I would say like a little bit smoky, but like very clean, which I am obviously into. Like I really love like the clean reserve fragrances. I normally love more of like a citrusy scent, but I'd say this is a very good evening scent for me. Um, so all of the details for all of that, all of the kill stuff that I showed earlier in the video will be down below for you. Um, but yeah, I, wow, like wow, 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 wow. Just watching all of these moments back, I'm like, I can't believe this all happened. And I'm very excited to bring you more travel content. Sorry, I just put mascara on because I was looking a bit of a bare egg without it. The Giorgio Armani Wet Ice Kill one is fabulous. Um, there is more travel stuff to come in the month of September. Mark and I are going to Lisbon. So like hit me up with your recommendations down below. And then we are heading to Mallorca. And we're going like inland about 30 minutes away from Parma as well. So if you have any recommendations, I'm all ears. We will sort out some vlogs for you then too. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on Wednesday with a brand new vlog that has a very special guest in it that maybe is Mark and maybe it's finally the him dressing me for the week video. That is coming up then. So I will see you soon. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.